it's nice lick time once again and I was actually thinking that I might retire this series but then this exceedingly nice lick came along that I wanted to share with you so what I'm going to do is probably keep this series going and just occasionally when I stumble upon something that's particularly interesting I will do one of these videos. I certainly don't want to be sharing licks with you that aren't nice. So let me play today's lick for you. It's a 7 flat 9 idea and it works particularly well over a dominant 5 chord in a minor key which is a musical situation that crops up quite a lot. So let's take a listen. <laughs> Now, if you've watched any of my previous nice lick videos, you'll know that I think it's fairly pointless just to learn someone else's lick in a mindless kind of fashion. So what I'm going to be doing is talking a little bit about the theory behind the lick, and I want you to understand what's going on and how to use it, and then you'll be able to make it your own. So let's get started. So the actual lick that I'm going to be showing you today is this one. <laughs> I play towards the end of that little intro solo. If you do want to learn that complete solo then I will be tabbing all of that out and I'll put that up on my Patreon page but I wanted to focus on this particular lick and as I said it's a dominant chord lick. It works particularly well over a dominant 5 chord in a minor key. So the backing track that I was playing over just then was a minor blues in the key of A minor. So we had four bars on A minor 7 then we went to the, the four chord is D minor 7 and then back to the 1 chord and then we had a couple of bars on E dominant 7 which then resolves back to the 1 chord in the last couple of bars of the 12 bar. So for most of that I was just improvising some stuff based on the A minor pentatonic scale, the A blues scale and it's just some nice simple just nice simple bluesy phrasing and then when that five chord comes along that was when I unleashed this lick and added in some perhaps slightly more unusual colors. So let me take you through what's going on here. Now this dominant five chord is your opportunity to perhaps add some extra colors and some extra tension. This is the dominant chord so called because it's heading back to the one chord and it's a really good opportunity to add in some extra tension and then that tension is released back to the one chord. So tension and release that's really what music is all about. So I'm thinking of this lick as based on an E7 arpeggio. That's the basic framework of the lick. So let me start by showing that to you. And I've got my root note here. This is the 7th fret on the A string. And I've got a G sharp at the 6th fret on the D string. That's the 3rd. And I've got the 5th which is this B at the 9th fret on the D string. And then a D. This is the flat 7 at the 7th fret on the G string. So that's a simple E dominant seventh arpeggio. And then you can play those same notes in the next octave. So we've got E, G sharp, B, D, and then a high E as well. So So obviously that's perfectly outlining the sound of that E7 chord. It's just playing the chord tones, the notes that are in the chord itself. And that in itself could actually make quite a nice lick. You could just go up the arpeggio. So nothing wrong with that. But it'd be more interesting perhaps to add in some of these extra colours and tensions. And the main tension note that I'm adding in there is an F note. Uh, you could describe that as the flat second or flat nine and it's a really good tension to add in which is pulling your ear back home to that one chord. So why don't we add in that F note, that flat nine to our E7 arpeggio. So we've got the root note 
and then we've got the F, that's the flat nine. Now the flat nine is always really easy to find because it's just one fret away from the root note. So the root, and then we've got the flat nine, and then we can go up the arpeggio, we've got the third, the fifth, flat seven, and then we're back at the root again. And then one fret higher, we've got another flat nine, another F note, and then we've got the third, fifth, flat seven, and then we're back at the root again. So that's our E7 flat nine arpeggio. And that serves as the basis for this lick. And really all I'm doing is just making things a little bit more interesting rhythmically and just jumbling the notes up a little bit to make it sound a bit more like music unless like I'm just going straight up an arpeggio. So I'm starting off the lick like this. So we've got this little kind of chromatic idea. Starting on the root, then playing that flat nine. And I've got a double pull off, so pulling off down to the root and then down again to the, the natural seventh. That's really just a chromatic passing tone and then hitting the root again. And then I'm going up the arpeggio. Just straight up that arpeggio as far as this B note. And then I'm skipping back again to the G sharp. And then I'm leaping up to this high E. And this is where we're moving to the A minor chord. And you can see this as belonging to the A blues scale, I think. So we've got the... So just coming down chromatically from that high E. And then resolving C to A, just giving that C a little bit of a bluesy bend. So that's the basic lick. And you can just add in a few articulations and things. As I said, I've got some pull-offs here. You might like to add in a slide there. I think I'm pulling off there as well. And those little details just help the lick to flow and to groove. And you've got a choice with this one whether you play it with a swing or whether you play it straight. It works both ways. I'm playing it with a swing today because the backing track has got that kind of a feel to it. So. Let me quickly talk you through the gear that I'm using today and uh, nothing particularly special is going on here I've just got a good guitar into a good amp with a, a good sounding pedal so the guitar is my Telecaster it's a 52 reissue Tele amp is my Fender Deluxe and I've got a bit of overdrive from a J Rocket Archer overdrive pedal and that's about it it's just a reasonably nice bluesy lead guitar tone that's it for this video tab is going to be up on my Patreon page where you can pay what you like and as I said, I'm going to be writing out the entire little solo that I played at the top of this video in case some of you are interested in learning some of those other licks. And be sure to check out some of the previous Nice Lick videos. There's quite a big archive of previous Nice Licks that you can find elsewhere on this channel or on my website. And I shall see you next week. Thanks for watching.